Hello, YouTube land. We're going out so early. Very early. Very early. And with our little Molly here in the car. Good luck to us if we catch the bed <laughs> at the city bed office. Prescription for our little dog stops. Okay, Han, let's go, Han. So, good thing when the doctor seen that one, he's so proactive. Like, I really like this doctor, Dr. Bautista. Because he's so proactive, like, he, he said, okay, let's do it now. Because there's not, not, not many dogs and cats lining up yet. And he already give a schedule for uh, the castration on Friday huh? yep you get the drugs we'll do it Friday and this girl now already like nothing happened it cost only for that uh, how how he said it huh? the th that big bully thing the pus bowl pus bowl is caused by a bacteria from like it's very common in Goat farms, he said. It's a thing, bacteria in the lymph nodes, and there's no guarantee that it will not come again. So, well, one day at a time, we just have to deal with this node for now and um, quarantine her later. We should put her back in the house. <laughs> Maybe, hun. That's at the corner, guys. We 
a mercury drug here. Let's go. So, while still early and uh, we're here in town, William is kind of trying to brush cut. Not in proper attire, my god. He's just trying if uh, the blade works with, uh, with this how for this thick grass. This uh, neighbor guy this owns a steel fabrication company along the national road going to prison farm and now they a church is renting the space to become a church kinda here so they are Refurbishing this one to be usable for a church. Uh -huh. Back in the farm, guys. And um, it's been so noisy <laughs> since we came from town. <laughs> yeah, so like she screams whenever I'm out of her sight. And uh, the thing with goats, guys, they go depressed so easy when they're alone. That's why um, her being an orphan, I mix her with Squeaky. But now that uh, the doctor's advice is to quarantine her or like um, not expose her to other goats because the bac bacteria can, you know, can be transmitted. So like. Um, yeah, we put he, he, her here inside the house, I mean inside, close to the house, away from other girls and um, she's screaming all the time, she just keeps screaming whenever I'm out of her sight, so like, I have other works to do, like I still have my chores to do inside the house, but um, this is how it is being a good mama guys oh you're so happy now like I, I don't think she felt the pain of all those injections <laughs> she had really like I did it look because um, for me it looks just look so painful um, William was the one who hold her head and I was like you know looking everywhere and um, just uh, rubbing her head we can't film in that um, shitty vet office clinic so I haven't shown you like how they did it there yeah, but like yeah I really like the doctor Dr. Bautista he's very proactive in um, you know handling and they even like um, documented it um, I will have to wait and see because they have their own Facebook page if Me Mo little mole is gonna be there on their page <laughs> Yeah, so the doctor said it's a common um, problem for free-range goat in many farms. And so, yeah, we just have to deal with it, guys. Because uh, it's our first time. It's another first time in the farm. First drug that was um, pen strip did not, didn't work. And it just keeps, the, the even if it has a slow progress, I mean, the, the big round ball thing there, but it's kind of no really it's kind of growing like really big over like it's been past two weeks already or two weeks now that uh, it's there so like nothing's working and um, I think that that slowed down because something is um, something was done it somehow delayed the progress of the bacteria or the development of the bacteria there but um, now the uh, past has been removed you'll see I want to save her guys because she's the last drop of moly big moly I realize she has five nipples five nipples guys it's not just four it's five so the uh, one has three nipples and one has two and, um, yeah she has the appetite guys they gave her vitamins they gave her like anti tetanus injections, apart from that anesthesia, the basic thing for that um, uh, treat, uh, treatment, the removal of the pus. Pus? How do you say it? Like, I don't know how to say it. Yeah. 
So like so many injectables they gave her guys. Uh, I think it is working because uh, she doesn't feel like weak or anything. She acts normal and like she screams normal. <laughs> She screams normally. This is it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. This has been my Pinochet Chat. Say bye, little Molly. Bye.